Andy Johnson here, a couple other new simple ideas, book evaluations and critiques. Comprehension involves thinking. We want students to comprehend what they read to create meaning. It involves cognitive operations. We can improve comprehension by improving thinking. Now here are all cognitive operations that are used by effective readers and you see evaluate there. So we teach the process to develop the skills so that students do these cognitive operations automatically as they are reading. But also book critiques or evaluations invite students to analyze books, interact with books at higher levels, examine story grammar, make personal connections, but probably most important, to have discussions or social interactions around books. I like this book because, I don't like that book because, doesn't matter if they like them or not, as long as they're talking about the books. Four simple activities, and we'll look at each one of those first. Identify, this is a pre-post evaluation, identify the criteria of a good story. Now you can do this for students, so you can say, boys and girls, what makes a good story? Let's find three things or four things. Then you provide a short story overview and then put the criteria up using some form of a graphic organizer. And I like this very simple one. So students know that they are going to evaluate the story on each one of these before they read. So as they are reading, they are considering the criteria. Then as a post-reading activity, students rate each of the criteria. Okay? Now, they can do this in small group or individually. Of course, I like to do it in pairs or small group because of the conversation that takes place. Comparing books. Same gosh darn thing except you include one, two, or three books and you use a graphic organizer again to compare books. This is a great end of the unit activity if you're using a basal and it also leads to conversations about genre. They realize, oh, this is a narrative book. I can't compare an expository book the same way. A generic book rating for younger readers Simply write in the title of the book and rate it from stinker to the best and you can have one to three, one to five, one to ten. And you might want to say, what do you want to say about this story? All right. And here is one for a younger one. They don't have to write. They can just rate the book, name of the book and the reviewer. Put these on a bulletin board someplace. Put them up. This leads to discussions as students come by and see what other students have rated. Simple, simple, simple idea. And the last one is a top 10, 25, or 50 book list. Each month, you select a different editorial group to choose, or maybe you'll have the class vote, however you decide to do it. But they select a list of what they think are the top books, and they're ranked maybe one to 10 or one, whatever you want to do it. But it's the discussion that ensues that promotes more or less reading. It promotes more reading. So, four simple ideas.